Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the polygonal tool to select, make a selection and mask something off. So let's go here into the home panel, go to browse tutorials, it's under home, browse. And with this, we're going to go to all categories, select the mask. And here is the cutout of building with the polygonal lasso tool. So we're going to start the tutorial. And I'm going to make this slightly smaller so you can see the whole picture. There. So we want to make sure that this discover panel is not right here. So we're going to move that over. And you can also make this wider and skinnier. So a lot of times I like to make it very skinny. You can also make it smaller. So whatever you need to do. So now I'm going to click next after I, I made adjustments to everything so I can see everything well. And since this is already selected, this uh, polygonal tool, it says to select something else and then go into it. I'm going to show you a couple things here real quick. Um, just so you can see when you're in something and it says to go here, but you don't see it. You need to hold down. See that little dot? You need to hold this down so you can see what's underneath there. And we want the polygonal lasso tool. Whenever you see a little dot next to that tool, that means there's more than one thing in there. So once we have that polygonal tool, we're going to select the feather value and make sure it's at zero because when we, when we make this, uh, this selection, we want to make sure that there's a hard edge. If we wanted a softer uh, edge, we would use a feather, but we're not going to. So that already says zero, so I don't need to do anything to that. Right up here, feather value zero. That's what we want. I'm going to click next. Now it says click a corner, start, continue around the house, clicking at each corner until you return to the start point. When you see a small circle appear on the cursor, click to close the selection click next to continue let's show you what this looks like so i'm very carefully going to select every little corner here very carefully and i'm going to make a couple little clicks here and there And then I'm going to come around here. I have to get them kind of come up closer. And the cool thing is, this is a really easy operation. So if you mess up, you can just start over. If I don't like it, I can just kind of go back and redo it. So you see a little z uh, circle on the edge of the corner of this tool. If I move over it, and that's where I started. I'm going back to the very beginning. And there you go. I did that. I made a pretty good selection. We'll see what happens when I mask it, how good it is. Let's go to next. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the layer mask right here icon that's the little rectangle with the circle in the middle so we're going to hide the rest so we'll click on that and there you go and then we can click next to continue and it says you can see the layer mask to the right of the house layer thumbnail white shows the areas that were selected black shows the parts that were not selected and are now hidden by the mask click next to continue so right there that mat that black part is the mask that's hiding the rest. And it says, using a layer mask to cut out a subject from the background offers more flexibility than erasing the pixel because it is non-destructive and allows you the ability to edit, improve the layer mask, click next to continue. So what you need to do then is if you want to leave it like that, then you can just go into file, save a copy and I'm going to save it on my computer and I'm going to save it as a JPEG 
and I'm going to title up in the front. Um, Cut out a building. I'm going to put polygonal. And then my name. I might actually just use this little thing like this there. That way it's very clear and it's going to go to my downloads. I need to know where it's saving it to. I'm going to save it there. And that's going to make the background white. If I needed to, to have the different. Um, layers here and not flattened then i would save it as a photoshop file but i'm going to turn it in for this assignment as jpeg and so if you have anything that has um edges you can do this then okay so with this tool this is only for edges otherwise it will not look right and you can do other things let's say if you want to trim all of this around here you could go to image and you could go to trim and you could go OK, and it's going to get rid of the parts that you don't need. You can save it that way. So right here, since I already, I can basically save a copy again and go back to where I had it and go to my downloads. And I can just change this to a JPEG. And they added, I can go to polygonal building at George. Okay, and save it. Okay, there you go. That's another way you can do to actually cut out some of that. For the first part, basically, just save it as a JPEG so it's white all around it. But that's if I want to lay it into something else. Okay, that's how you do this.